Hello, we have been discussing about phonons and lattice vibrations. In the context of Drude model and Sommerfeld model, we calculate the electronic contribution to heat capacity, the thermal properties of matter. Now we will discuss about the phononic contribution to the thermal properties of matter, that is heat capacity, the phonons contribution to it. So when we say heat capacity, we usually mean heat capacity at constant volume, that is Cv. But so this is the more fundamental quantity which can be obtained using thermodynamics at the partial derivative of the internal energy relative to temperature at constant volume. And this one, although it's a fundamental quantity, it's difficult to measure from experiment because keeping the volume constant when the temperature is changing, it's extremely difficult. So in experiment, the way it is done or the easier way it is done is to measure Cp, heat capacity at constant pressure, which is nothing but del U del T at constant pressure and in thermodynamics you have learned the relationship between Cv and Cp. So here we will be interested in Cv because we are doing the theory and in theory calculating Cv is easier. From experiment one can measure Cp and with the relationship one can find out what is the corresponding Cv. We will here concentrate only on the phonons contribution to Cv. And this quantity is called, the phonons contribution to Cv is called the C lat that comes from the lattice. Phonon waves just like photon waves that is electromagnetic waves can be polarized and if we consider a polarization index P then we can write the lattice contribution to the internal energy U lat as sum over the phonon wave vectors capital K, sum over the polarization index U K P. So what is U K P? So let's write this one, the summations remain as it is, sum over K, sum over P. UKP can be given as the average number of phonons KP with K uh, wave vector and P polarization index H cross omega KP. This gives us the lattice contribution to the energy where this quantity NKP average this is the thermal equilibrium of phonons average number of phonons at thermal equilibrium for wave vector k and polarization p and this can be obtained from the Planck distribution function
what is Planck distribution? In Planck distribution, you get the average number of bosons as 1 over exponential of h cross omega over tau minus 1, where tau equals Boltzmann constant times temperature. So, how do we obtain this? Let us find that out. Let us work out the Planck distribution. Let us consider a set of identical harmonic oscillators in thermal equilibrium. If we consider this, the ratio of the number of oscillators in n plus 1th state and in nth state If this quantity is given as capital N, N plus 1 over capital N, N, this can be written as exponential of minus H cross omega over tau, where H cross omega is the energy of one phonon or one boson and higher the excited state fewer is the number so it there is a negative sign uh, this is the ratio that this kind of a ratio will be obtained n n plus 1 would be smaller than n n and uh, tau as we have discussed earlier it's just kvt thus the fraction of the total number of oscillators in the nth quantum state that can be written as When we say fraction, that means fraction of the total number of oscillators, total number of phonons in this context equals n n over sum over the number in every state from s equals 0 to infinity n s. How do we obtain this? This we can obtain using exponential minus n h cross omega over tau divided by sum over s equals 0 to infinity exponential minus s h cross omega over tau. So, we see that the average oscillation quantum number of an oscillator that can be given as if we make an average over n using this distribution function. How do we make an average? We multiply this one with, we multiply the numerator with s and sum over s. We do not multiply anything here in the denominator, the denominator remains just like this. So, it will be given as sum over s 
s times exponential minus s h cross omega over tau divided by sum over s exponential minus s h cross omega over tau. We have to now calculate this quantity. Now let us find out two summations. If we get an infinite series sum over s x power s, we can write this as 1 over 1 minus x provided x is less than 1. And if we have sum over s, s times x power s, that is given as x times d dx of sum over s, x s and this quantity is it sums to x over 1 minus x squared of course this is also valid for x less than 1 now if we put x equals exponential of minus h cross omega over tau then we get the relevance of these two series from with uh, these two sums here and using this we can calculate the average value of n as x over 1 minus x which putting this value of x can be calculated to be 1 over exponential of h cross omega over tau minus 1. This is the Planck distribution function. Now, let us find out, let us count the normal modes. Normal modes of phonon that we are interested in. So, the energy of a collection of oscillators for frequency omega k p if it is in thermal equilibrium then uh, the total energy can be obtained the internal energy that is u equals sum over k sum over p h cross omega k p over exponential of h cross omega k p over tau minus 1. It is convenient to replace this summation by an integral. How do we do that? If we suppose that the crystal has d p omega d omega number of modes for a given polarization p
within the frequency range omega 2 omega plus d omega. If we assume this, then the total energy can be obtained using this integral form sum over the polarization index integral d omega dp omega which is nothing but the density of states for phonon for a given polarization index p h cross omega over exponential of h cross omega over tau minus 1. The heat capacity is found by differentiating with respect to the temperature. So, we have x equals h cross omega over tau. If we now put this, then this quantity is putting the value of tau h cross omega over kBT. Then we can calculate del u del t equals c lat equals kb times sum over the polarization index integration d omega the density of states dp omega x square exponential of x over exponential of x minus 1 squared this quantity. So, this quantity can be evaluated the integral is difficult but it can be performed and that gives us C lat provided we know the expression for the density of states. So, now it becomes important to learn the expression for the density of states.